Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. So here we are today at episode 85. Okay, so last episode we were working on the, a few things. We were working on coarse glass, uh, quartz glass and sand. We were running low on supplies there, so we uh, managed to fix that up. Uh, with the uh, process and arrays here. And uh, between episodes, I had ran out of sand. So I had to go and make more gravel or more sand. So I had another, um, have another block, another set of, um, another set of uh, extruders here. And this seems, oh, no, it's not full. Never mind. So this is running uh, running for us full blast, I believe. Oh. Oh dear. Um, I should probably limit the processing array because we have 1.7 million sand. Okay, um, I'll do it later. And then we were also working on the, I think the superconductor wire stuff. And I didn't get around to placing all the conduits yet, but I will, I will soon. Um, and then there was the, uh, the combination crafter that I had started to work on. It wasn't working when I tried to cr uh, craft it up off camera. I went and kind of changed up the the layout of this because this needs power. Wait, these blocks need power and these blocks need to be connected to the ME conduits. It's weird like that. Uh, if there's a method that I'm not aware of, feel free to tell me. I'm just doing what I did last time in my other Let's Play. So, um, yeah, this is all, this is now all set up for the empowered payless crystal. And we're going to be needing more recipes, uh, attached to us in due time. I have the combination table here and, uh, oh, right. I did do some more of the automation for the empowered payless off camera. So we needed to get the water cells, which I have right here. And we needed to get Sapphire. Okay, so you can see sapphire right here, the dust. So first things first, water cell. I went ahead and made a fluid candy machine right, yeah, right here. So we have a fluid candy machine or instant fluid canner it has water in there. And this is set to take a, a empty cell and make it into a water cell. And then I don't know if I have the where I put the extruder, so let me just see what that is. Empty cell. Right, so the empty cell is made in a extruder. Right, and I had to make a extruder shape. So you get two plates for one cell here. And that oh, it's over here. Uh yeah, here we go. So yeah, that is nice. The easier way, honestly. Uh, payless. So you can see here the uh, water cell and the sapphire. So the the one way that I did this I did this before I believe was with a an Ender IO tank. That was not very smart of me. For some reason, JEI doesn't tell you that the instant fluid canner can be used for this purpose. So I didn't think that was possible. But uh, I probably should have reasoned it, would, it might work. In any case, that's a tip. All right, so I also crafted a few of these off camera. Uh, can I get there in time? Or did it already make? I think it already made. Let me make some more just to show you how awesome and fast this... Wait. Yeah. So let's see if it makes anything quickly. Okay, it's making the coal. Oh, there we go. Look how awesome that is. So yeah, that is pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and grab those payless crystals. Blocks, I mean. Is there a quest for that? No? Okay. So, right. The payless crystal block, we needed that because we need to get Draconic Cores. Okay, 
Oh, oh, let me cover the um, potion compressor. So off camera, I realized that we can do this a certain way. So what I did is I just set it up to be able to craft sapphire gems with four sapphire dust and two TNT. The TNT is made from gel toluene and sulfuric acid. And that's in it. That's made in a solidifier, <clears throat> solidifier with a mold ball sheet like that. Okay. So it's completely automatable. I don't have to worry about any level emitting. I don't have to worry about anything else like other recipes that would need it. I'm not really sure. Wait, what? Excuse me? Why isn't it showing? Oh, you know what I probably did? Is I probably did a level emitter. That's why it's not on the craft window. Okay, let's see if I can't find... Okay, it's over here. Okay, yeah. So I just made a passive stock here. It's going to make TNT until we have less um, 512. So you can see the sulfuric acid, the toluene. Okay. So that part is done. We'll be able to make sapphire so long as we have the gem. Okay, so back to what we were doing. I went ahead and crafted up one draconic core. And I didn't pull it out yet because I wanted to get the uh, completion on camera and also go over what was done. So there we go. Draconic core. Sweet. Back to the quest book here. Complete. So that opens up the way. Uh, fusion reactor mark one. Okay, so we have to do some quests here before we can open up the fusion. And before we can open up that thing right there. Because we're going to need what's called europium to make the draconic infusers there. Okay, but um, let's get this this and some zpm if we can okay so back up here we want to get the e kits for uh, resonant now these are going to be composed of enderium plates emeratic gears and the draconic core i don't suppose we have enderium plates okay so let's get that set up then shall we so there is the plates. Then we're going to need emeratic gear. That is going to be a... Uh... Okay. You know what? Let's get this going. We're going to want a compactor. And then we're going to need a gear working die. Um, okay. Compactor. This will be useful. The compactor is going to be a case of copper gear, reception coils, bronze, simple stuff. And the gear working die is diamond gears. Ooh, exotic. And we have to make a diamond gear manually originally. That sucks. Um... Okay, I'm just going to put my screwdriver in there for the moment. Do we have diamond plates? Oh, we, have, we should have diamond plates, but we don't have diamond rods. That's unfortunate. But not a big deal. Okay, lathe. That goes there. Um, put this away. That. That will go... In here, let's just get that made up. Okay. And the gear working die, compactor, and the E kits. Okay. So now we have the gear die. Uh, we have the gear. Yeah, the gear working die. 
Let's get rid of the diamond gear. We're going to refactor that once we get the, uh, the compactor. Okay. So now we're going to need the e-kits for the first three levels. Put this away. I put that away too. I don't need, oh, I need this. So there's our compactor. Yep. Okay. So there's a quest. Okay. Oh, and there's a gear working die. So there's our kits. Um, we're going to need a face. I think we can use only one. I forget if how uh, thermal expansion works with ME interfaces. Okay. So TE compactor gear. So this is going to be a little bit more interesting because we got to figure out where to place it within a, the area that has uh, uh, RF conduits. So we put it here. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, then up here, we'll say, I think what we want is the gray thing here. I believe that acts as the input output. Let's see what happens when we install this. Um, where is the, okay, it's over here. Oh god, this is a mess to be sure, but most of this will be hidden anyway, so. Okay. So, we'll cover that up. Okay, so I think this is good now. Do we see it in the terminal here? Okay, we do. Okay, so diamond gear is going to be the first thing that we pattern. Gear. Uh, I don't know why I did that. So can that be made? I don't know if that's taken a while or if it's just jammed. Okay, that doesn't work that way. Okay, so I guess blue, orange, that is what we want. That works a little bit better, I would say. Yeah, okay. Uh, so now we just want to speed this up. So we need this. And that might take some time. I think, that, okay, that's the mana infused. We might need to upgrade our mana infused EBF there. No doubt, it's probably on EV hatches still. Um, I still, I'm not sh completely sure how far our reactor can carry us. What's the uh, setup here? Okay. I think we're still good. Honestly. Okay, let me just get my window there. Yeah, so that's still chugging along. How's the thorium, I wonder? Okay, yeah. We definitely have quite a bit of thorium. Oh. What the hell? Okay. So let's go back over here. And plug that in. So that should be a little bit quicker. Okay, so back... To what we were doing with the emiratic gear that's and that's and i think i think we can make this just fine 
Yeah. Okay. So that's working good. So gear. Bada boom. And there we go. All right. So e kit. And look at that. Sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on our gear maker. And you can see it opens up an extra slot. E kit. It can go ahead and order like, I don't know, and, uh, four. Um, actually, you know what? We won't, we won't worry about that for now. Let me just get the augment for that. And uh, let's move on with the other items. Other uh, quests, I mean. Okay, so Enderium Heavy Plate. We're going to be needing this anyway for the Tier 6 Miner. So, Enderium Heavy. Okay, so... Oh, patterns would help. Enderium Heavy. Oh boy, that's going to be a 30,000 EU per tick. So this goes into our LUV. Compressor. How long does that take? About 10 seconds. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. And there it is. Okay. Next. So there's the tier six miner now opened up. Um, the ZPM opened up. Oh, superconductor coils. Super conductor. Oh, we need to get in this window first. So when you're we're going to need the two times wire, of course. So let's get the the bundle. I didn't make a, a PA bundle, did I? No, okay. Okay, so now this and this. Coils. So I, I'm assuming we're going to need 16 of these. I may end up making a bund a I might put this superconductor wire in the PA wire mill because I think we're gonna be needing quite a lot of these later on. So really it would just make things a little bit more quicker. And that would definitely help in the end. There's no doubt in that. Oh wait a minute. No, I can't put that in the bundler because that's a vacuum freezer. Shoot. Um in that case, might have to do like a passive system. Uh, but that would also mean that we would need to make draconium wires nonstop. Well, mostly nonstop. That's not too bad in the end. We just need to make sure that we have a constant flow of dragon scales into the EBF. Yeah. And we have none. We don't have any more dragon scales. That's going to be another project. We're going to have to make a um, dedicated dragon model area. Of course, we're going to need more power. Most likely when we get into solars. In fact, how close are we to solars right now? I know we can make some of the early tiers. So that's the 2048. That is 8192. And then we go into Draconium. But we can't even make this yet because we need, or oh, sorry, Wyvern. But we can't even make this yet because we don't have fusion crafting, which means we still need to get into uh, fusion up here. So when we get this quest done, then we open up the fusion reactor Mark 1. That opens up Europium. And then that opens up the injector. So how, what is the case of Europium? Europium. Oh dear. 
So for europium, we're going to have to make a fusion reactor. I mean, it did require the the quest for it. So we're going to need hydrogen and liquid neodymium. Neo. Wow, what did I just type there? Neodymium. Okay, we don't have the largest amount. That is from bastonite or monazite, it looks like. Let's see, monazite... Rare earth, phosphate. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, I'll have to figure that out later. Actually, let me let me look up the quest again, because we might not even need that much. We need... Oh, God. We need, like, a tenth of an ingot for... Or what's that? What is that? Is that... 144 divided by 16? That's a ninth. Okay. Or 16 divided by 144. 11%. Oh, that is, that is just basically a ninth of an ingot. So a nugget, if I'm not wrong. Okay. And then hydrogen would be three nuggets worth, but it's not really a solid. It's a, it's a gas or... Yeah, hydrogen's the gas. Okay, anyway, um, yeah. So that's not too terrible, although that is going to need pow power to get started. We're basically in that point where fluid is not really an issue anyway. Uh, okay, so where are we on time here? 21 minutes? Okay. All right, then how is the superconductor? Halfway there, living on a prayer. What else can we do while we wait? Uh, the assembly machine. Robot arm. All of that looks doable. I don't think we need the yitch. I don't think we need the wetware or the crystal. We do need that. That's still doable. Okay, is it everything here I think is actually achievable for us? Looks like, looks like we're going to need two of the three notch quantums, two of the two notch, and six of the single notch. Okay. I still want to make a passive quantum supply at some point, but that might need some planning on my part first. All right, so let's get the assembler here going. So robot arm, we can do first. So let's now grab then some cobble. Oh, you know what? I might have to go and quickly limit my um, PA system. Okay. So here is where we take we break down our cobble. Machine controller. That was quick. Emitter. And then get our screwdriver out of there. Alright, so we're gonna have to rotate the controller here and then rotate it back. And I guess we're going to have to bust down here. Like so. There we go. And we're going to say emit when levels are below. Okay. Actually, you know what? I don't think we need that much cobble, so I'll just say 100, 1, 2, 3. Good. So we'll get more cobble that way. Uh, how's the superconductor? Two more. Upstairs. Yeah, I forgot for a second where we were going or where the uh, 
assembly line room was. Right, so grab some cobble. So to make the assembler, we need the robot arm, and the robot arm... Okay, these... Those need the two uh, items there, so I have to make the half package first. And I have to leave in the full maker for this to work. Let's get load. So, let's see. Assembler. Well, we will mark that. Okay. Just need to get the quantum notch single. Wait, can I not? Oh, no, I need the quantum... Triple? Okay, let me get some uh, quantum then. So just one more time, we needed... Let's see, there are uh, two triple. Oops. I don't think you can mouse wheel those that I've seen. So six, two, and two, right? Six, two, and two. All right, so that looks good. So you remove that. Oh, I need to uh, name this first. So half LUV robot arm. Save that. There's package, and that's being crafted. So that might take some time. How is the superconductor? Hey, it's done. Oops. There we go. All right, let's put that away. And we'll see what we've unlocked. So we have now the fusion reactor mark one. Okay, time to get fusing. Uh, this, the fusion reactor is a multi-block that uses enormous amounts of energy to, to fuse fluids into new elements. This one is less flexible than the previous machines as you can only put hatches where the preview shows. Sneak right click the controller to enable the in world preview. Oh my God, I remember that's gonna be an amazing thing there. The JEI preview shows all valid hatch locations. But you don't actually need that many fluid hatches. You can replace any of the hatch positions in the structure with LUV machine casings. As long as you have at least two fluid input hatches. Okay. Because of this, you quest only ask for 80 LUV casings. If you want to use the minimum number of hatches, you'll need to craft an additional 28 casings. Okay. So we'll need 108 casings then. But the mark the controller itself is going to be another assembly line recipe. And it looks like we're going to need to get into another star plating, fluid generators, IV, um, mainframes, superconductor wire. We have that. High PHC. That is IGP and power IC. Fusion coils, which is a more superconductor wire. Again, this is why we're going to need a lot of that wire. Neutron reflectors. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff to look into. Beryllium. Oh, beryllium is another example of a uh, a gem that we're going to have to implosion compress. And that's not terrible. And plutonium. But that's just a matter of solidifying, if I'm not mistaken. Wait. Plutonium. Uh, how do we get to uh, plutonium 2041 or 241 is the question. Hmm. 
We might need another reactor. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, uh, we are coming up to the end of the episode here, so I am going to call it for now. Uh, we'll come back in the next episode, and we'll start working on the rest of the pattern processing for the robot arm. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, we'll get this taken care of in the next episode. But for now, I am calling it. I uh, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.